Okay, I know I'm eight years too late, but here's the backstory. So as most young millennials, I grew up with Harry Potter. I read all seven books, I was at the midnight premieres, and took all the Wizardry World quizzes. But there's always been a gap, and that, my friends, is the cursed child. Sorry, I don't live in London or New York, but I do live in Chicago. And guess what came to Chicago? And as the adult I am, I dropped $150 on tickets. Okay, so the show is in about a month, and I'm thinking I'm going to reread all the books. I know, a little crazy, right? So let's start off with the worst, because you might as well start off with the worst. It can only go up. So I had a goal. No, a dream to read all seven Harry Potter books before the Kurtz Child, and... So, I actually didn't read the books, but we're watching the movie. But Cheyenne's reading the books. That's true, 200 pages left. <laughs> and it's the night before the play. And we're on the seventh movie, and you're on the seventh book. It's so close. So we're close. We're almost there. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I tried. Now, before we get any further, I know there's gonna be questions. So... Yes, I'm a Gryffindor. Yes, I believe it's the best house. My favorite book is the third or fourth. My favorite movie is the fourth or the fifth. Besides The Cursed Child being the worst, I do think the second book isn't that good. Ryan and I dropped $40 on these. Maybe. But look what's in my pocket too. <laughs> Yeah, it's, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> All right, Cheyenne, I got shirts. Last thoughts before we watch the play. I'm so excited. <laughs> there we go. All right, it's the next day. I'm still wearing my shirt. So let's talk about Harry Potter and the Cursed Trial. As you know, my expectations were pretty low for this play. I don't like the book. I don't like the story. But... I want to echo what everyone says. You have to go see the play to really enjoy it. I hate that I'm saying that. <laughs> Truly, it did feel like I had re-entered the Wizarding World and got to revisit with my friends Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Ginny. I think their character arcs are so cool in this play, as well as creating new arcs and new stories for Albus and Scorpius. The magic that is shown there is just unbelievable. Stage plays have adapted so much from Hamilton, and I really enjoyed what they did with the magic in this story. Now, I'm not going to kiss ass. I don't think it's all good. The story does fall apart towards the end with all the time traveling shenanigans. And also, I'm not a huge fan of Ron and Hermione ending up together, and they really push those two in this play. But overall, it really did make me miss Hogwarts, and it made me excited for the next chapter of Harry Potter. If that is the HBO Max series, if that is a Marauders TV show, if that is a Harry Potter and the Cursed Child show or movie. I guess overall, it was just really cool to enter back into the Wizarding World and have this experience that I've missed out of for so long. So, hopefully we can see where the wizarding world goes after this. 